My name is Colin Nish. I am the technical lead for uh, METOS South Africa. And we're looking at a uh, iMetos micro METOS weather station. And uh, this little device is quite amazing. It has um, an array of sensors that pretty much give us everything that we need to uh, monitor the climate, the microclimate. Moving on, we have a wind sensor, wind speed and wind direction. And uh, there are no moving parts, which is great, so nothing that can break. We then have a temperature and humidity sensor, which measures the dew point temperature as well. And that gives us an indication of what frosts might be uh, occurring at the time. And we also have a solar radiation sensor right at the front. We have a leaf wetness sensor. The leaf wetness sensor we use for disease modeling. We want to understand what the disease risks are in the vines. Finally, it has a solar panel that powers the station autonomously, so it doesn't need electricity to run at all. So this weather station is a very valuable tool for uh, this vineyard. For the value of the station itself, the cost of it versus the value of this crop, it's just, uh, it, it's an absolute must have. The measurements that we can get from the station help the farmers on the farm uh, manage the crop better, manage the irrigation, uh, their spray programs. So what we're able to generate off the station is a uh, microclimate forecast or a hyperlocalized weather forecast for this very site. They're able to find out when the correct times to spray will be uh, so they get maximum efficiency from the chemical if they have to use it. Uh, we're able to look at evapotranspiration rates, the delta T which is critical for spraying, the disease model. So the sensors that we have on here are uh, very useful to generating accurate disease model uh, information when there is a risk. We're really happy with the results that we're getting. We, we get consistent, solid, uh, hourly, sometimes more uh, updates. We uh, are able to look at the data on our app platform and our web platform called Field Climate. That data can be transferred through an API onto any third party site, uh, which is where we're, our involvement with CGA and TerraClim comes into play. And uh, they're very happy with the results that we're getting from these stations.